It is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce my good friend Carl Sewell as a 2017 inductee into the Texas Business Hall of Fame. I met Carl in the 60s when we attended college together at SMU and became very good friends. He always had a healthy and confident ambition, and he has certainly exercised that to the highest degree in building his multiple dealerships in multiple geographies. Today, he is considered to be one of the premier dealers, not only in Texas, but across America. For Carl to be so honored is a surprise-free scenario to me that I could have well predicted in our early days in college. Congratulations, Carl, on a well-deserved honor. I drive a Sewell. They know how to anticipate your needs and wants better than you could. I've been a Sewell customer since the first car I ever bought. They are genuinely interested in you. From Dallas-Fort Worth to San Antonio to Houston, the Sewell name stands for quality and customer service. We are a 106-year-old company with 17 dealerships and 2,600 associates. We sell about 40,000 cars a year, and we do $2 billion in revenue a year. This is a family business, not only literally, but culturally. We put our arm around one another. We take care of each other. To me, somebody in the Hall of Fame is someone who has directed their industry in a way that is unique and different. And Carl, I think, had a tremendous impact. There are so many reasons why people choose a particular business. The way they're treated, the quality of people that they work with, uh, you have to have a very good product. The Sewell commitment to relationships, integrity, and performance is a family tradition that has now been handed down through four generations. Well, I'm very lucky to be part of an automotive family that's been around since 1911. Dad bought the dealership when I was 14, and so I went to work in the parts department the first day, June 1st, 1957, and I, I learned the parts business uh, really beginning there. My dad was an example of always doing the right thing. We've always known that taking great care of our customers was important, but we've also known that taking great care of the people we work with is every bit as important. And that has been a focus that has been true really since 1911. Carl distilled the principles of service and leadership in his landmark book, Customers for Life, a tool he thought might be useful for training his associates. With over a million copies sold, the world obviously thought so too. A guiding principle for our father's leadership is performance. It's the lens that he uses to look at the business and also to look at his life. Well, after Customers for Life, uh, the, the chapters and the words of that book became our playbook day to day. And so every interaction we have with a customer, we use those values to ensure that we're doing things at the highest possible level. I think customers buy from Sewell because of the way they're treated. The service that they always get, the interpersonal, relationships. We talk a lot about integrity, integrity of the quality of our work. Do you care enough about what you do to study what you do so that you can always become better? One of the things that our father says a lot is first you have to decide how good do you want to be and once you make the decision to be the best everything gets pretty clear from there. He did intend for them to be his customers for life. He did not intend for them to buy a car from him. He expected to see them for decades. The Sewell commitment extends beyond individual customers to the entire community through support for education and health care. SMU, MD Anderson, and St. Mark's and Hockaday have been focuses for our life, so education and health. Carl brings to the SMU board an absolute commitment to the rising international and national reputation of SMU. He is committed to quality here just like he is in his business. St. Mark's and SMU both gave him such tremendous things in his life that I think his time serving those schools has been frankly his great honor. Carl is very interested in helping people who are motivated and if he can remove a stumbling block whether it's lack of education or whatever else then uh, he's very interested in doing that. He wants to ensure that everyone around him has those same opportunities. So whether it's our associates at work and the programs that we have here, or the scholarships he creates uh, both at the business school and the engineering school at SMU. Particularly at this point in my life, the most rewarding thing uh, for me is to watch people grow. He makes everybody better because he's so committed to being successful in whatever he goes into, whether it's selling cars, 
are supporting something at the SMU or some other charity in Dallas. When our father thinks about how you measure success, he is certainly very interested in numbers and performance, but I think really it's also about how you measure a life and integrity and doing the right thing is a huge piece of that. As I met other people in our industry, you see a commonality of sort of an obsession about cars, and so it might be that they collect antique cars. Um, and so I asked my father one time, I said, you know, why is it that you don't race cars or collect cars? And he he thought about it and he looked at me and he said, you know, I've never really thought of myself as being in the car business. I always think of myself as being in the people business. Every single morning he wakes up with renewed energy and never feels like he's finished. My father sold a car the day he died and that sounds like a great idea. Not too soon.